So hi and welcome to my LinkedIn tips video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an event on LinkedIn and this is a great tool to use if you're hosting an event and you want to let your LinkedIn connections know about the event. So I'm going to just um, go ahead and show you how to do it. So you want to go to the home section in LinkedIn once you've logged in and then if you look on the left and you scroll down you'll see that there is a section with events. So you want to click on this plus here to create an event. And now you can start to just fill out your event details. OK, so first of all, I'm going to go here and um, add an image and then upload a cover image. So I'm just going to pull up one of my um, an image that I want to use. And this image I've used for other things. So it's not specifically set to exactly the sizing for the image here, but it will work good enough that we don't need to do, um, you know, create something specifically for this um, particular um, platform. So I just uploaded it. I'm going to click apply. I've sent it where I want it to be. In fact, that's looking a little bit like we're not capturing it all. Let me see if I can if I can edit that a bit. Let's see if I can make that a little better. Okay, so it should be covering everything I want. It's a little bit not, but let's see. Let's go with that and we'll see what happens. So now we're, we're zoomed out as far as we can go. Okay, let's just go with that. OK, so now I want to upload an image for myself. So I'm just going to click here and upload an image for me. So. Let's OK, so I've just uploaded an image for me um, and we've got obviously client notes over to my business in there. Let's come down to here and put in the event name. So the event I'm going to be um, hosting is my free five day LinkedIn leads on tap. Challenge. Um, and it's happening in London time zone, so that's fine. We want to put in the date. So it's starting on the 17th. And it actually starts in the morning. So we're going to put in 7 a.m. And it's ending on Friday the 21st. And it doesn't end until quite late <laughs> in the evening. So let's see if I can get... 11 o'clock or something like that in the evening. There we go. OK, so we now want to enter a description of what this event is about. So I've already um, got some text written out and I'm just copying that text and I'm going to paste it in here. OK, and I'm just going to take a look and make sure it all looks OK. I need to change the date on here. So it starts on Monday, the 17th of May. Um, and this is all looking good. And there we go. Um, it's a public event, that's fine. And we want to put in the registration link. So I'm just gonna grab the registration link from here. There we go. 
And I think everything's in there. He's going to do a final check across. We've got the start and end times in description. And we have public event. We have the registration link. So I'm ready to click create. OK, so now it's um, asking me if I want to share this event. I can share the post. I'm actually not going to do it at this moment. I will share it later on. But you can always go ahead and share it if you want to share it to your wall straight away. And in fact, this is um, sharing directly to my page. So I'm going to just actually, I'm going to share that. And I'm going to add in a, um, a tag, LinkedIn, marketing, entrepreneur. There we go. I'm just going to click post. OK, so now we can see we've got the actual event set up. Um, and you can see it's all set up here. Um, and we're ready now to start inviting connections to join this event. Once you do that, you can't edit it again. So just, you know, if there's anything that's not correct, just read through. I always like to click the links to make sure the links are working. Um, just make sure it's all correct. Um, if you need to edit the event, you can go here and edit the event there. And in order to invite connections, you just go here. And um, I'm going to invite connections by putting in some details. I'm looking for all coaches. Um, and I'm just going to invite people who are coaches. And people I know as well, and some clients as well. These are my ideal clients are all business owners. And the thing with this is that, you know, you do have to do it individually. So it takes a bit of time. And obviously, you want to invite as many people um, as you can in one go, because um, there is a limit on how many people you can invite each day. So I tend to go through and the first time around, I try and invite a lot of people. Um, OK, and I might also just look and see, you know, and invite some of my existing clients and connections that I know as well. Um, and all my team. Because you do want to invite your existing clients, of course. People that know you, you want to invite them to your events. And I'm just going through this list and, and adding people that I know. And so obviously, go ahead and just, you know, I've got quite a lot of people that I can add that I know. So I'm just going to do this many to start off with. But, you know, obviously, you go through your list and you want to do as, as many as possible in the first time around. And then you just click Invite and it will be inviting those people. And then, of course, the next day you can add some more people as well, invite some more connections. And of course, what you can do is you can then start to, you know, add 
details. You can start a conversation on on here, especially if you want to let everyone who's um, saying that they're attending, you want to let them know to be able to um, you know, know about something that's happening with your event and keep them engaged and excited and updated. And that is basically it. That's how to set up an event on LinkedIn. It really is that simple and that easy. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this LinkedIn tip. Um, and if you wanna check out other LinkedIn tips like this, just head over to my YouTube channel, Shelley Hutchinson, Client Nectar, and um, there are a lot more LinkedIn tips videos just like this one. All right, bye for now, guys.